in grad school, like, I just made art to please people, and, like, it looked good, and I had this gift and this skill, and, and then in grad school, like, I pushed it down, I pushed it down, and then one class, he, like, blared this music, and I just was like, screw it, I'm just gonna go for it, and I just drew this really nasty, ugly, awful, black, dark picture, and then we put it up on the wall, and, like, in my class, I just, like, cried and cried and cried. To put that out there and to see it, they're like, okay, now that it's out, what do we do with it? What can we work with it, and what can we do about it? So then that was, like, kind of my breakthrough of, like, oh my gosh, I can make ugly stuff. I can make pretty stuff. I can make whatever it is it can be. I had anxiety, and I had all this stuff built up and art was my outlet and I never knew it like I just liked it and everyone's like oh you're good at it it's what you should do it's what you should do but I didn't realize like what it could do like for me I realized like you know how can you use your gifts to help others and so I realized you know people not a lot of people know like you can use that creative outlet as as a way to help but as a way to cope so I feel like I'm kind of sharing something new and a gift that I have that could hopefully help others People are more freaked out, I think, to talk, just sit and just talk to somebody, like, without doing anything, but, like, if you got a piece of clay in your hands or if you've got a sketchbook in your hands, like, you can focus on something else and kind of let, you can, know, you can talk about it, you can write about it, you can draw about it, and then by the end you realize, like, you've put out so much more than you would have just sitting and talking about it. We as humans, I think, gravitate towards what we need, and sometimes we're not aware of it. So if there's something you're processing, like, you know, coming into a studio space or a creative space, and if you get stuck, then that's where, like, I'm there as a therapist to help kind of guide you through and to kind of ask those hard questions of, like, you know, what's making you stuck or why do you think you can't draw or what would it feel like if you did try it? And those usually relate to the bigger picture as well. So even though it's, like, about art stuff, it's really almost big picture related to 